Welcome back, everybody, and we are in our penultimate session of the day where we're going to be hearing from Liz Clark. Now, Liz is Operations Director at BFRC, the uh, British Fenestration Rating Council, who we know are the leading authority in terms of uh, giving uh, energy uh, rating certificates for the industry and the most trusted ratings uh, council for energy in the, in the construction industry. So, as I said, Liz isn't able to be with us today, so uh, she has sent me a pre-recorded video, which I'm just going to share now, and she's going to be talking about the increasing importance of providing product performance and why it matters more than ever. And as we did with David, if you do have any questions that you want to ask of Liz, um, after this presentation, if you want to drop them in the chat box, I'll pop them in to ask a question, then we can make sure she gets those and we'll pass those on to her and get the answers for you as soon as we possibly can. Good morning. My name is Liz Clark. I'm Operations Director of BFRC. Um, thank you for joining this seminar. I'm here to talk to you about uh, performance ratings today. First of all, I'll just take you through a little bit about um, BFRC um, and where it originated from. Um, firstly, it was established back in 2001 by Dr. Robin Kent um, and in relation to a a European uh, save two report um, that, that was um, put together um, with, the, with the purposes of, of providing ways for the consumer and industry in reducing carbon emissions and saving energy. morning. My name is Liz Clark. I'm Operations Director of BFRC. Um, thank you for joining this seminar. I'm here to talk to you about uh, performance ratings today. First of all, I'll just take you through a little bit about um, BFRC. Good morning. My name is Liz Clark. I'm Operations Director of BFRC. Um, thank you for joining this seminar. I'm here to talk to you about uh, performance ratings today. First of all, I'll just take you through a little bit about um, BFRC um, and where it originated from. Um, firstly, it was established back in 2001 by Dr. Robin Kent um, and in relation to a, a European uh, Save 2 report um, that, that was... Um, Put together. Um... Good morning. My name is Liz Clark. I'm Operations Director of BFRC. Um, thank you for joining this seminar. I'm here to talk to you about uh, performance ratings today. First of all, I'll just take you through a little bit about um, BFRC um, and where it originated from. Um, firstly, it was established back in 2001 by Dr. Robin Kent um, and in relation to a a European uh, Save 2 report um, that, that was um, put together um, with, the, with the purposes of, of providing ways for the consumer and industry 
in reducing carbon emissions and saving energy. So that was at the core of, of, of why it was established. Um, we primarily what we do is we provide energy ratings for window and door products. Um, so that's across the whole supply chain through from system house, manufacturer and installers. And really what we're all about is making sure that uh, manufacturers and installers can substantiate their claims um, and, and show impartial proof that products will perform as promised. So in a very, in a very similar way to what we see with uh, freezers, fridges, and those rainbow coloured labels, um, we, we provide a similar service, but to the fenestration industry. So we kind of touched up on there uh, about uh, the different relationships we have. Um, we've got, you know, system houses. We 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 work with um, of different material types, um, manufacturers of, of frames, of glass, um, of different components, um, in windows and doors, um, installers that are fitting these products, specifiers that are typically sub assessors that. Um, that are, are doing energy rating calculations, um, calculations in the home, and then homeowners and the general public. So yeah, quite a range of stakeholders that we deal with. Um, we partner with um, with the industry when we develop new products, um, and, and 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 looking when we're looking at performance and the, the, the sorts of um, services that manufacturers and installers need. To show the characteristics, to show the, the performance of, of, of their systems. So, just a little bit about energy ratings. Um, energy ratings allow homeowners to compare the comparative energy efficiencies of products, and that's on a fair and equitable basis. Um, so, they're really designed for the domestic replacement market. And when it's introduced, um, when it was introduced, it was solely for like a, a marketing tool for manufacturers and installers to use. And that was very popular in, in with fabricators and installers um, that wanted to differentiate themselves. Uh, the rainbow rating confirms the products have been tested by experts and have been assessed to um, ensure that the whole window or door performs as promised. So that's really, really important to us that there is that technical expertise and that, that we are checking that the rating that um, is being advertised is correct. Um, and it, it allows the consumer to then make choices um, about what products they want to purchase and have installed into their home. Of course, a rating label like this is very easy for a consumer to understand. It's very easy to compare what an A is to, to, to an A plus, for example, um, which one is better. Um, so it gives a very, very clear message and something that installers find very, very easy to communicate. In regard, with regards to the energy index, as you can see on the label there, um, that's probably the most important number. Um, if it's a positive number, it means that um, it's it's gaining heat, um, gaining energy. Um, if it's a negative number, it means that that it's losing energy. So it kind of gives it gives a bit of a guide, really, in how to interpret that number. Moving on to sort of government and building regulations, um, BFRC Energy Ratings has been supported um, by government in the. You know, building regulations refer to uh, energy ratings as a means of compliance. Um, initially, back in 2006, uh, the window band was uh, an E rating or a new value of 1.8. Um, uh, and then in 2010, which is actually something that I particularly remember very well because I remember joining in 2010, um, the building regulations were revised again and uh, revised to a, sort of a window band of C or a U value of 1.6. That's a whole window U value. Um, since then, we, we're obviously uh, been supporting installers in getting those C ratings and above and to show compliance to organisations, uh, competent person schemes such as FENSA. And uh, since then, we've even seen in 2013, uh, the introduction of door Door, door ratings. Um, so, so that was to uh, in yeah 2013. It was um, uh, a band of E or U value of 1.8. And we've seen this. You know, this is something that's always reviewed. And as we we probably all know, um, there is a new consultation for uh, for this particular requirement. Um, and we are expecting to see an, an increase in window banding 
um, potential to be um, through the, the consultation that we, I imagine most of you will have read up on already. So for those of you that might be interested in the, the sort of more technical uh, element of energy ratings, um, this is the actual formula that is used to determine the, the rating um, and it's essentially the, the energy balance of the window. Um, I'm not going to go through this in detail. I'm not actually a technical person myself. Um, if you do have a particular interest in it, please do get in touch um, and we can put you in touch with our technical team um, that can then talk, talk to you more about what's taken into account and how, how this is actually uh, done. But the, the most important thing to sort of get across today is that the, the formula is, is used to ensure that we have um, accurate and credible results and um, that compliant with the, the sort of international standards um, and you know we have a group of certified simulators that can uh, carry out these energy rating calculations that are competent to um, to, to, to do them and, and submit those calculations through to BFRC in order for a, a BFRC rating to be issued so the good news really you can take away from this is that there are technical people there to carry out these calculations if you are interested in energy ratings and um, finding out more about performance ratings, then don't feel that you need to be the technical expert. Um, there are technical experts already available to, to help guide you through that. Um, so yeah, um, BFRC essentially will take care of that for you. So ratings, so the way our, our business model works is that we, we can certify products at system house level and then cascade those products, that product certification, down to the fabricator and then to the installer. Um, this is really, really um, important to ensure that we have uh, robust audits in place, making sure that the product that's manufactured at system house level, then to fabricator level, is then actually installed. So we've got confidence that that label um, is, it, you know, corresponds with the actual product that's being installed. And that's one of the things that we take very seriously um, and, and want to make sure that there's uh, as much product traceability as possible. Um, so there are a number of fabricators that take up energy ratings because their system houses have already got all of this technical data, all of this technical work that's been verified by BFRC. Um, and then the fabricator wants to have a, a BFRC rating themselves. They can apply for that, get that rating, and then they can actually cascade it down to their installers as well. Um, so that the installer can then use that rating for compliance with uh, competent person schemes. And why, why would they really want to do that? I mean, if, if they're joined with a company like Fenza, um, you know, Fenza in particular, they actually have an, an added benefit of a BFRC rating. So if you're a Fenza installer and you're purchasing product from a, a, a BFRC approved fabricator, then you can actually have your, your energy ratings free of charge. Um, there is no catch to that. Quite often we get questions around, you know, hold on a minute, what, you know, what, there must be a charge that comes in at some point. And we can reassure you there really isn't. If your offense are registered in your purchasing product from a BFRC uh, approved uh, manufacturer, um, then the licenses are there readily available for you. We can cascade those to you, um, set you up with a, a BFRC account and provide you with your BFRC rating labels. Um, and you will be able to advertise that to your customers, so to, to homeowners in this case. Um, and, and, and the reason why you'd want to do that is because it will give those homeowners confidence that you're going beyond just giving a good installation, but also giving them uh, a, 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 a really good energy efficient window too. What do you get alongside that? You get free technical advice, you get marketing support, um, leaflets and, and your the home homeowners also get the opportunity to um, have certificates as well, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a minute. Um, looking at window energy ratings specifically, I just wanted to give you an idea of how um, how many um, of our licenses are actually uh, that, that have been issued are actually falling into the higher banding. So you can see here you know, we've got 35% A rated, 10% A plus. Uh, four percent a double plus so you know over over 50 percent we're we're looking at um higher ratings um, which is really showing 
know, over the years, we've seen a real shift in trends to those higher, high performing products um, where manufacturers and installers are making tweaks to their product specifications so they're meeting those higher bandings. And um, so it's really interesting to see, really good to see. And we expect to see more of it, given that, you know, we're, we're seeing changes within the building regulations again, so that people need to, to hit those higher ratings. On our website, um, you'll see here is a bit of a, this is a picture of our, um, our, our search function, essentially our rating database. Um, we have, uh, there's the ability to search for BFRC ratings. This is used a lot by, um, by, by manufacturers, by installers, um, particularly by specifiers quite often. So um, people like SAP assessors uh, use the search function to find out more information about who, who holds BFRC ratings, what products are registered. Um, and in some instances, we do receive requests for more technical data, which, which we would encourage you to request should you require it. We do obviously have very strict controls in place around what data we can share. Um, you know, whoever has a, a BFRC energy rating registered with us has uh, provided us with confidential information. Um, and there's only so you know particular information that we can can share. However, um, more detailed information can be available from the manufacturer or the, or the system house that owns owns that that data. Um, but it, this is very much a very well used area um, and it's something that we are doing more development work on, particularly for SAP assessors. Um, so, yeah, we look forward to sort of showing you some of that, um, some of the information we'll be introducing into this, this database. So why, why, why do actually energy ratings matter? Um, I think for me, the, the key point to get across today is that the when we look at performance, um, it's not always visible. We can't actually always see um, how a product will perform. It might look shiny, it might look new, but but actually as a homeowner, if we're in homeowner's shoes, you know, it might look very nice, but but how does it perform? It's not obvious. Um, so having a BFRC label there uh, showing the, the performance of the product is really, really helpful when it comes to homeowners making informed decisions. Um, you know, coming back to what I said before as well, you know, it's all about reducing um, a home's carbon footprint as well. We know that, uh, you know, um, you know, with heating levels, we, you know, it's so important that you're doing everything you possibly can to reduce your bills, um, to, to, to make sure that we're reducing carbon footprint. Um, we're very environmentally friendly um, and BFRC ratings is one way of reducing your, your carbon footprint. Um, what's inc really important for our, our customers, our typical customer, the installer and the manufacturer, is that by showing the performance of your product, by showing the energy efficiency of your product, you're able to upsell um, that product because of its performance. And it, and it avoids that race to the bottom on price, which we so often hear people complaining about that, you know, it comes back to price. But actually, if you don't give the homeowner or the customer another reason to, to buy your product, then they will always look at price because people are price sensitive unless you give them another reason. So this is where um, performance ratings really come in and can help you um sell products if you use it in the right way and that's something that we we you know we're really um working hard with fabricators system houses and installers to get people using their labels on the website get them using them on their products making sure they're putting into their sales pitch don't leave it until after you've sold the product to put it in it's actually all about prior to that <laughs> making sure that you're trying to win every contract you can um and making sure that you're tapping into you know, homeowners are more interested now in energy efficiency um, and, and, and making uh, environmentally friendly uh, decisions. So I touched on earlier about um, the, the BFRC performance certificate for homeowners. And um, this is a certificate that um, is issued out via FENSA. Um, the, you know, if you're a FENSA approved installer, um, in England and Wales, and you've installed BFRC rated product, 
you can, um, you know, the homeowner or the installer can apply for a BFRC certificate that can be issued out to that, that installation address. And this gives you an example. So on the certificate, you'll see that the, uh, you know, it references the product's rating number, the energy efficiency of the product, um, and the date that the installation was completed. So something that's very handy for, if, for when a homeowner comes to sell their home, um, they can demonstrate how energy efficient those, those windows are. Moving on, so in recent uh, months, we've um, been developing, um, we developed a new product last year, um, and a noise reduction ratings. Um, and this was really quite a focus for us last year in developing a new product that could be brought to market that would help fabricators and installers to, um, to, 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 to sort of, um, to show off their product, to show off the qualities of their product, to give them more marketing tools to, um, you know, to use when selling. Um, Noise reduction is a massively important um, feature of a window or a door. Um, my, I myself recently had my front door replaced and one of the things that was important to me was making sure that I had um, a, good, uh, a, a good noise reducing door because I live on a main road, a busy main road. So then this is really, really typical. This isn't anything new. People are interested in finding out how their windows and doors um, will help reduce the level of noise. But at the moment, it's actually, it's been quite difficult for, for consumers to find out, um, you know, that if they're looking at technical specifications, it's very difficult for them to be able to tell. Um, so something that we decided to do was to introduce noise reduction ratings as a means of really uh, giving homeowners an opportunity to um you know ha have simple information available um so that they can compare products and think okay what's the best for my particular circumstance it, you know what's the most important um yeah and, and just really wanted to stress that in, you know the importance of product performance and a good, good installation is, is is so important you know you have to you ha we have to make sure that there's a good installation and that the product performs well so moving on to a little bit more about our noise reduction rating scheme that we've launched. Um, windows and doors can play a vital role in reducing the level of noise entering a home. And this, this scheme is ultimately allowing, um, allowing comparison and selection of windows and doors based on noise reduction. So it's, it's very familiar in terms of the rainbow rating scale. You can see in the same way as energy. Um, so it's already recognisable by the consumer. Um, and again, we've kept the same principles as energy in that there's independent assessment of acoustic performance um, rather than, um, you know, one having to go on uh, manufacturer's own claims. So it's it's impartial proof uh, for, for the homeowner and something that installers will be able to use to uh, demonstrate that, look, you know, this is this is how well this this product performs. Um, there's two routes to apply for um, these particular ratings. Um, you can either use the tabulated values in the applicable uh, standards um, or you can provide test evidence um, to us. So we're, we're, we've covered all bases there um, to ensure that uh, companies can uh, provide technical evidence. We can independently verify that and then um, issue uh, BFRC ratings for them to use in their marketing materials. One thing that's very, very important when looking at noise reduction ratings is um, recognising limitations. Um, as with all schemes, um, we have to recognise limitations. Um, you know, it, it really, um, you know, a BFRC rating does not provide an absolute measure of the acoustic performance of the specific window application because a number of different factors um, need to be taken into account. Um, so I put some examples on here of what that what that could be. So it's it's the location, it's the, the building fabric. Um, you know, is there any other way that noise will, will come into the building? Um, so these are also important uh you know things that we need to take into account um and it's something that we are very much encouraging those fabricators and installers that that take up this scheme they need to make sure they also 
do have these conversations about look if you know what are your expectations okay we can offer this but please be aware that you know in order to um you know um you know get full benefit you will need to consider these other things so whether that's the roof whether that's um the building fabric whatever it may be but that's that's obviously really important to ensure that the homeowner um you know that we meet the homeowners expectations so important considerations here replacing windows and doors may only be part of the solution so we have to be clear on that um Replacement windows and doors will not reduce uh, noise transmitted through the fabric of the building. Important to remember, um, it's important that window or door is installed correctly to ensure it performs. Again, the, the rating is assuming that the door would be, um, you know, would be uh, installed correctly. So how did we uh, put this scheme together? Uh, we had a lot of input from our, our BFRC technical committee um, that helped develop the technical foundations of the scheme this was really important to us given that um you know we 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 pride ourselves on being a very credible organization making sure that we're using um you know the correct standards making sure that uh, we're technically robust um so it was absolutely key that we were engaging with all technical uh, sort of stakeholders which our technical team uh, technical committee make up um so they've put in some really good work um on that with regards to the sort of the scheme um the launch we've initially launched it to system houses and manufacturers so that's a restricted audience and that's something we're going to continue with for some time whilst people are getting their technical uh, reports up to date um, and submitted across to us we appreciate that this does actually take some time especially when you're doing uh, you know you're, you're put, putting together technical so test evidence that's perhaps going to take a little bit longer than what, for example, looking at tabulated values would be. Um, and then in conjunction with that, we are developing a suite of marketing uh, materials that will be issued to installers once it's rolled out to them for the purposes of them selling uh, noise reducing windows and doors. Um, so very exciting for us to be able to add another product, um, a product rating um, to the toolkit of our manufacturers and our installers. So one of the key points from, from, from this uh, seminar is that you know, energy and noise are both invisible. We don't see them. Um, and if homeowners can't see the performance of your windows and doors, how, how will they prefer yours? That's the big question. And that's why um, we need to have, uh, you know, a, a visual aid there to help homeowners make those decisions. It, typically, you have, you know, uh, a homeowner will get, you know, three three different quotes from three, you know, th sorry, three quotes from from different companies, um, you know, because they want to compare the price, they want to compare the products. So this is one of the things that if you can say you've got a rating um, for noise for energy. It adds another, um, you know, another, uh, another, another benefit, um, and it will give someone a reason to not look necessarily just at the price. So moving on, I just wanted to touch on building regulations. Um, I'm not really going to go into any detail on this as such because I know that another seminar has taken place. I believe yesterday it will have been, and um, with Lee Galley of Risa, um, and I imagine he will have taken you through. Um, all of the building regulation uh, updates um, that we're potentially seeing next year. Um, but I think I just really wanted to highlight that there is potential for, for energy ratings that things will will change um, given given the changes that will um, come into place for particularly Doc L, um, doc, approved document L, you know, the energy rating uh, banding being increased for windows and for doors. Um, and, and new value changes as well. So we may see that actually uh, a shift in, in products. We're expecting to see more, um, more tweaks to product specifications in order for them to meet the new requirements. Um, we've done our own, our own analysis on that and we can definitely see that you know, there will be a number of ratings that will be um, dropped um, and then uh, uh, new, new products added. Um, so we're, we're very much expecting to see that. There's obviously 
consequences to trickle vents um, if to windows if, if trickle vents are introduced as a as a mandatory uh, measure um, because we we obviously do know that trickle vents does have a an impact on the energy efficiency of the product um, at the moment energy ratings do not take into account trickle vents um, but we have done our own research and we can see that of course it will make it will have an impact um, so these are all things that we are looking at currently um, security another one that's an important one to to look out for consultation that will be coming out soon um, and then also the overheating as well so i think with these changes that are coming that we you know we've we've all heard about them um that we need to start looking at products start looking at specifications and start looking at what what things can we do now so that we're fully prepared in the future for when these changes come in um so yeah i mean we've you know this is something we're keeping a very close eye on um, and we're looking at the trends and, and supporting our customers in um in, in them sort of updating their their product portfolio with us thank you for listening i hope you found the seminar interesting um, if you have any questions at all please contact me on the details on the screen um, and i'll get back to you um, and i hope you enjoy the rest of the show thank you Thank you so much to Liz there. I know she wasn't feeling great when she did that for us. So we really, really appreciate um, her taking that time to give us that information. So we're just now onto our final session of the day, which will be a smart panel um, with a number of experts working in that part of the industry. So I'm going to close down this session. If you do have any questions for Liz at all, please do just ask a question either using the bar at the bottom or in the chat box. And we'll make sure that Liz gets those for you. But I'm going to end this broadcast now open up the new session for our smart technology panel and I'll see you over there very shortly.